I think people would be surprised to learn that generic drugs are, in essence, bioequivalent. The same purity and potency and quality as a brand name drug. Otherwise, the FDA would not have approved them for use in the United States. And we see a tremendous difference in cost between generic drugs and brand drugs. And the reason behind that is because the generic drug manufacturers did not have to invest so much money in the research and development behind that drug. That drug was already discovered uh, by a brand name manufacturer and proven to be safe and effective. Not all brand name medications will have a generic medication available for it. When a brand name drug is discovered from scratch, from a brand name manufacturer. That moment that they discover it, they apply for a patent from the FDA. And that patent protects that medication for 20 years. So patients can determine if there are generic drugs available for a brand name drug through the US Food and Drug Administration website, as well as consulting with your physician or your pharmacist who would certainly know if there is a generic alternative available for that brand name drug. So I would suggest to patients, in terms of thinking of red flags, that when you have a generic drug that may look different from a previous generic drug that they have received, because there are different manufacturers for the same generic drug, and one may use a pink dye and one may use a blue dye, the patient should call their pharmacist just to confirm that they did not receive the wrong medication. Give generics a chance. They are effective, they are safe, they will save you a lot of money, and who doesn't want to save a lot of money? And when considering using generic drugs, consult with your physician and your pharmacist to take into account any allergies that may have an impact on selection of a generic but do try generics and be prepared to be happy and save money.